caste system is probably the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the word Hinduism. The caste system in Hinduism originally divided the society into four main categories. The Brahmanas or the priests and the scholars, the Kshatriyas, the kings and the warriors, the Vaishyas, the traders and the merchants, and lastly the Shudras or the people who were meant to do manual jobs. I'll put a picture out there so that you can understand the hierarchy of the caste system in Hinduism. Apart from the four main castes, there was another group called the outcasts. They were the outcasts, they were also known as Dalits. They were literally the untouchables in Hinduism. The upper castes considered themselves as, well, the upper caste and they did not want to touch or to even go near the outcasts or the untouchables. In the Hindus, the Hindus they believe that the Brahmanas were created by Dhamma, the god of creation in Hinduism, from his mouth. The Kshatriyas were created from his hands, the Vaishyas were created from his thighs, and the Shudras were created from his feet, the lowest part of the body. Which also metaphorically the Hindus believe is well the lowest part of the body. That's the lowest one can go. There's nothing lower than that. Anyways, so apart from that, for centuries the upper caste people have exploited the lower caste people in various ways. The untouchables, like their name suggests, were literally the untouchables. The upper caste did not want to touch them or even have to, they did not want to have to do anything with them. The Shudras according to the Manusmriti, which is, by the way, the most authoritative book of law in Hinduism, suggests that, well, it states that Shudras were meant to be the slaves of the Brahmanas and the Kshatriyas, who were the uppermost castes. The Brahmanas were supposed to be the uppermost class, uppermost caste, even if they were scholars without any education. The Manasmriti suggests that Shudra should not receive education and any Brahmanas who educate them or give them food were not to be considered as true Brahmanas. In the caste. So now probably you think that the Brahmanas have the most power but the Brahmanas and the Kshatriyas were almost equal. Well that's quite not the case. The Manusmriti also says that when a 100 year old Kshatriya and a 10 year old Brahmana stand together, the relation between them would be that equal to that of a father and a son, except in this case the father would be the 10 year old Brahmana and not the 100 year old Kshatriya. You can see how casteist the caste system is, how bigoted the caste system is. And for centuries this has continued in Hindu societies like uh, so as to say India and Nepal. The Hindu societies have always been casteist contrary to what many Hindu apologists might say that the British were the ones who gave us the caste system and many other things. Even in present India caste, caste related cases like a Dalit woman being thrashed by upper caste people for just touching a bucket. A Dalit man was thrashed, almost killed by upper caste people for eating in the same place as them. Dalit students being not being educated by schools because of casteism. So casteism still exists in present India. In the 20th century, Gandhi tried to uplift the community of the untouchables by calling them Harijans or the people of God. Now that's hypocritical or I don't know what to say because Gandhi himself supported the caste system. Also in the 20th century, Dr. B.R. Ambedkar, who was an ex-Hindu then converted to Buddhism, uh, 
gave us the concept of the caste preservation system. He spoke out against Hinduism and its caste system and the discrimination in Hinduism. He was a human rights activist and his what he did, what, his concept of caste preservation were later induced in the Indian constitution after independence. Now, you might think that okay, the caste preservation system uh, probably then does good for the castes, lower caste, but while well, that is so officially in tiger spheres and in rural parts, that's not quite the case. Like I said, there are still cases of casteism hate crimes in rural parts. Even in urban parts nowadays, there are some urban parts where casteist hate crimes occur on maybe not a regular basis, but they still occur. So, Hinduism and another thing is that Hinduism, the uh, manuscriti of Hinduism, it says that Shudras are meant to be slaves for the upper caste and it actually supports slavery and human trafficking of people born in the lower castes. Well, Hinduism might not look as the most violent religion in the world because of course Islam takes its place. Hinduism is still one of the most bigoted religions in the world. I am Shivam of the Queer Indian Atheist. Until next time, thank you.